hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today we are creating with the Spellbinders Clear Stamp and Die of the Month Club Kit. This month it's called Big Love. And it doesn't come with this cute little white tipped kitty tail, <laughs> but it sure is super fun. I love the love that uh, um, you, that'll die cut out. It's a very large focal point and I love that. All the sub sentiments are fabulous too. We'll be using this on our card. We're gonna make two cards today with it. And we're gonna use also the tiled hearts embossing folder of the month club kit. We're gonna go ahead and take both of these out. The love is pretty large, so I'm gonna bring in my stamping positioner for that. And I chose some colors for my inking today. We're gonna do all of our stamping and die cutting at once. And then um, the colors of inks that I'm using are these. These are from Pink Fresh Studio. We have Lemon Whip, we have Ocean Breeze, and Passion Fruit. We're going to take our love. Oh, I like, you know what I like? That it's one solid piece. You see that? Sometimes when there's cutouts, it's hard to reform. And so when it's one solid piece, it's super duper easy. So let's go ahead and take some white cardstock. I'm going to place this in here. Okay, let's pick up our image with our stamping positioner. And for my love, I'm going to, I know there's lots of pinks out there, uh, but I'm going to use yellow for my love. Let's go ahead. I go over my image here. We're going to go ahead and create a Valentine's card. Actually, you know what? Let's stamp a couple. We're going to stamp Happy Valentine's, be, be My Valentine, because we have room. We're going to stamp Be My Valentine, Sweetheart, Always, and You, because there's room on the bottom and there's always room to stamp some extras. I'm going to use my black ink for this. Okay, so we have some extra greetings. We're going to put this off to the side. Our love is done. And we're going to bring in some white cardstock. And I put the hearts all on acrylic blocks. And don't you just love how wonky these are? For some reason, I'm more partial to wonky hearts than I am to just standard hearts. Um, but I have our foliage. We're going to use Ocean Breeze and stamp a whole bunch of foliage. And then we're going to take our hearts. I'm going to go ahead and stamp maybe two of each. We don't need two. Well, maybe three. We're going to use Passion Fruit for this. We'll go two hearts each. Maybe three. We'll see how much room we have. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the coordinating die set and we're going to go ahead and line up all these dies. I have a bit of die cutting to do, so I'll die cut out all of my images, including my greeting. And since we're at the die cutting machine, I'm going to bring in our embossing folder of the month club kit. Again, this is called Tiled Hearts. I'm going to use colored cardstock and we're going to do some embossing with this. I have some chamomile. We'll emboss a background panel with this, and also we're going to emboss a panel of waterfall cardstock. Both of these are Spellbinders Color Essential cardstocks. So I have a little bit of die cutting to do and embossing. I will be right back. I went ahead and die cut everything out and embossed. While I was die cutting, I also created um, some fun foam or some pop up foam pieces for a heart that I cut out with white cardstock using the Spellbinders Essential Hearts. I used the second largest in here to create a heart and the foam. And then I also cut out the love with my pop-up foam for a little bit of dimension. Sometimes it's easier to just cut out foam with a, a greeting like this versus popping it up with strips. <laughs> okay, and aren't these beautiful? This is the embossing folder, which is just stunning. We're going to go ahead and start with our first card. I'm taking our yellow panel, which is the chamomile. And I want to go ahead and adhere this to the front of an A2 size card base. I'll just use my tape runner for this. We'll tack this down. 
um, while I was die cutting also, I did die cut out a few extra of the leaf flourishes. Okay, so we have a background filled with that beautiful heart pattern. I'm going to take my heart that we created and I'm going to add some adhesive to the back side and tack this down to the pop-up foam. And then I'll take this and we're going to go ahead and add this to our background. This is going to go right in the center of, of our card base. We're going to, since we have a little bit of curve to these flourishes, I'm going to bring in my glue and we are going to create a frame on this heart with all of our flourishes. And I know the small ones will go along the top. So I'll just go ahead and add the glue right now. I think this will be easier. Okay. I'll take my tweezers. And this one will go this way. This one will go this way. The ends we're going to tuck underneath. And we'll do the same to this. Actually, we'll... Okay, the, the small foliage works perfectly along the, the top of the heart. The larger goes perfect. You might have to flip it upside down, but it does work out beautifully. Okay, we have this adhered. Now I'm going to bring in some small foam squares. And we're going to add our hearts. On our heart. Let's go ahead. This is a nice way to cover up too those ends. I think that looks pretty playful. Now we need to add our greeting. I went ahead and I think we're going to use Be My Valentine and we're going to go ahead and pop this up with some foam tape. Place this right in the center. And then I'm going to finish it off with some of my Spellbinders Color Essential Gems. This is the Aura AB. And we're going to add some smaller ones around our wreath, kind of filling it. These are great fillers. Now we have a little sparkle. I do want to bring in my glazing glue and go over the hearts for a little dimension, a little shine. Okay. And that will finish card number one. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and start with card number two. I'll take our waterfall background panel. I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card base. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use glue and attach our foam to our stamped love. Wonderful. We have some more greenery pieces. Let's add our greeting. I think for this one, I think we're going to use Love You Always. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. Let's tack this down. I think that's a good spot. Let's bring in our glue and we're going to glue down some of our foliage. Wonderful. And then we're going to bring back our gems and we're going to add a few of our gems. And we'll bring back our glaze and glue and add a little glaze over our hearts.
I always forget to burp it. So I'm trying to keep it from clogging and so far so good. <laughs> okay, and then that will finish off that card. And that finishes off my second card. Today we made two different cards using two different club, club kits from Spellbinders. We have the Embossing Folder of the Month Club Kit. It's called Tiled Hearts. And then we also have the uh, Clear Stamp and Die of the Month Club Kit. It's called Big Love. Um, if you have a, if you're not, a, if you like to fussy cut or you have a die cut, um, like a brother or a machine that, that will cut out your images and don't need the die set, Spellbinders has just the stamp set too. So I'll leave all the stamp and die club down below and I'll leave a link to just the stamp club if you guys are interested. Um, but everything else I'll use, but everything else that I use is down below in the description area. Also, thanks so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.